Hey folks, pretty mild day across the valley and really a pretty big spread in temperatures. You look right now, Rio Grande City 74 is still going up while Port Isabel's at 62 and already going down. So that's a pretty big range across the area. McAllen's a little warmer at 70. Harlingen, Raymond's a little cooler at 63. A lot of clouds overhead and the dew points are down. Take a look at this, 29 dew point in Edinburgh, most places 30s and 40s. Of course, the higher dew points, the more moisture available at the coast. Whoop the average on the muggy meter and you can figure out what it's like where you are. If it's in the 40s, you're still up here in the dry range. 39 the average, some places even drier than that. So the air really comfortable out there this afternoon into this evening. Forecast lows tonight should stay in the 50s, pretty much valley wide. The exception would be the beach at about 60, so a mild night there. And then tomorrow, most of the valley tops out in the low to mid 70s. So still another cool day. And if you like cool stuff like this, you're in luck. We've got a nice week for you. Temperatures are going to top out in the 70s probably every day until Friday. And Friday, I think we start a warm up. And by the weekend, we may be right back where we were this past weekend with temperatures topping out in the 90s again. But that's not until the end of the week. 73, 73, 76. The average high now, spring break week, is about 80. And we're not going to reach that until probably Friday. And then once we get to the weekend, we'll be above the seasonal norm. Spotty showers showing up, but not really much. It's just a mainly cloudy day now. Clouds are going to stick around all night and into tomorrow. You notice by tomorrow afternoon, we're still mostly cloudy with with uh, just patchy clouds around, but it's going to be one of those weeks where you see clouds every day. By Thursday, I think the clouds are going to thicken up more, and we're pretty much overcast with spotty showers on Thursday. Instead of a bright white sky, it'll be a darker gray sky. More moisture and a couple of sprinkles mixed in on Thursday, and then we start to kind of clear things out again a little bit as we go to the weekend. No rain Tuesday or Wednesday, about a 20% probability on Thursday, so even that, not really a big chance. Around the rest of Texas, it's cool but comfortable. 64 in Dallas. Dallas, Austin at 66. Same thing in Houston. Dalhart's at 61 this afternoon. They saw a little sunshine in the northern two thirds of the state. Of course, we saw the clouds here. West Texas picking up some clouds, but no big systems coming through. In fact, we don't expect another front until probably the early to middle part of next week. Watch future track has nothing in our skies at all. High pressure comes down from the north and it builds into Texas by Wednesday. So it takes a couple of days to get here. Eventually it pushes eastward. Once that happens, flow comes back off the Gulf. Southeasterly winds bring moisture back in and then a little disturbance gets caught up in the upper level wind flow. And that combination gives us that 20% chance for a shower on Thursday. By Friday, it's gone. There's a front on the map, but that front not getting here anytime soon. So it looks like it's going to stay pretty mild all the way through early next week. Quick check some other temperatures around the country. You can see the cold air spilled all the way down into the southern uh, Appalachian. You go into the upper Midwest. Temperatures 30s and 40s. In the Pacific, you know, Seattle, I don't know if you saw it up there. Seattle's warmer than we are. They're at 73. That doesn't happen very often. Phoenix at 80 right now. Albuquerque checks in at 49 degrees. So for tonight, we're looking at 55 for a low, mainly cloudy, a little breezy, but not bad and cool northeast winds. And then tomorrow, a lot of clouds still warmer than today, but I'd still call 73 cool when you consider it's about seven degrees below normal for this time of year. Wednesday, about the same thing. Thursday, spotty shower, 76 Friday. Then we're back in the 80s and look what happens after that. By Sunday, we're back up to 90 again. Yesterday, we were close to 100 and we'll be back in that vicinity again by the end of the weekend and the early part of next week. That is your updated first one, 540.